All right then my friends, so there's a few different ways that we can add styles to our different templates. The first way is to use the global CSS file and this basically applies styles to the entire site. It's not scoped in the slightest and they're all kind of in one place. So anything that you would have in many different places in your site, you'd probably put selectors for those and styles for those in the global CSS. Now what I'm gonna do is delete all of this right here and I'm just gonna paste in a few of my own styles instead. So we have just a few variables declared up here for two different colors so we can use them later. We have some styles for the body right here. Font family, we strip out the margin, background color, display flex in the column direction and a min height of 100 VH. This is all kind of nothing related to quick so I don't wanna to go too deep into this but it just means that everything now is gonna be in a column on the website. Then we have some styles for the H1, H2, H3, and H4. Font family of Geo, font weight of bold, margin zero, and a font size of 1.8 Ms. Now these fonts right here, we don't actually have yet. So if I save it, then we might not see them over here. Well, we see pop-ins, but we don't see this one right here, which is meant to be Geo. So what we need to do is go to the components folder, then into a router head over here. And I'm just gonna paste in a link so, oops, I've done that wrong. I've pasted in my CSS again. Now I'm gonna to go to my course files and copy the link to a Google font. So we're loading in Geo and also Poppins. That's all we're doing, all right? So we're placing that inside the router head, remember? So this is loaded for every single page. And that way we can use these different fonts right here, Poppins and Geo. So now if I go over here and refresh, don't even need to refresh, it's loaded it already. Now we can see that Geo font and also this font, which is Poppins, awesome. So that's the global styles. We can apply those right here inside the global CSS file. Now the drawback of using that global style sheet is that everything's just in one place and it's not very organized. So what we can do instead is create style sheets for particular components. So inside the about folder, I could create a style sheet for the about component. So I could call this, I don't know, about.css like so. And then inside here, I could paste in just a selector for the article. So we give it a background color, a bit of padding, border radius, box shadow, and a margin, right? So if I save that now, it's not automatically gonna be used for this component. We have to use it inside here. So I'm gonna import that style sheet first. I'll say import, we'll call it about styles, but you can call it whatever you want doesn't really matter about styles and that comes from and it's dot forward slash because it's the same directory isn't it and then it's about dot css so then we have that now we need to use them inside this component and the way we do that is by using a hook called use styles like so so press on this to import it right here and again it's got that dollar sign remember this is kind of like a lazy loaded boundary and inside here, all we have to do is pass in the styles that we want to use. So about styles, like so, all right? Okay, so this right here, okay, yeah. So when we use CSS like this, using use styles, we have to add on at the end a question mark, and then it has to say inline, like so. And only if we add that will it work inside these quick applications. So if we save that now, hopefully we'll see these article styles applied to this article. So if we go over here, we can see now we get this big white background, a bit like a card around this article. So that's worked. Now, these things right here, these styles will not be scoped to this component when we use this use styles hook. So they apply to any component which is currently showing on the page. For example, I can demo this by coming over here and selecting anchor tags, and we'll say the color of those should be orange. Now, if I save that and come over here, in fact, come to the browser, we can see that all these anchor tags inside a different component and also in the footer, they've all been styled. So these styles right here, about styles, when we use this hook, they are not scoped to this component. They will apply to any component on the page. Now, there is a way around that. We can use scoped styles instead. So what I'm gonna do is come back to the about CSS and get rid of this for now and also copy this, this article selector. Save it and then cross those off. Now to demo this, we'll go to the contact folder and we'll create a new file called contact.css. So we're gonna style the contact page now. We're gonna paste in this same article selector. Then we're gonna go back to the component for the contact page and we need to import the contact 
styles up here and that comes from and it's dot forward slash contact dot CSS then remember question mark in line so it works down here this time we are going to say use styles scoped click on this to import it like so again it's got a dollar sign at the end and then pass in the contact styles like so all right so now let's just test it save it and go over here if we go to forward slash contact we should see the same article styles which we do awesome but now if we go to contact.css if we try to style something else for example i could target the anchor tags and i would say the color is orange like so save it and it's not updated these over here or this down here same again i could say something like the footer tag and we'll give this a background of i don't know blue because we have a footer down here it's not styled it so those styles are now scoped to this particular component all right so that's the different ways we can add styles we're probably going to be using a combination of all three as we go through this course so next up we're going to talk about the layout file over here and also how we can add links to the different pages because at the minute to go to the different pages we have to manually type them up here so we'll take a look at those in the next lesson